It was a hot and steamy afternoon of June 1884 in New York City. Sweat pooled behind the neck and moistened the groin of a young, nubile, six foot two, thick mustachioed, 28 year old Nikola Tesla. <laughs> engineer in the world, Thomas Edison. <laughs> Ultimate thrill and nerves consumed every inch of his being, including his most hallowed nine inches. As he approached the door of Edison Machine Works, he turned to do his usual lap three times around the block before entering the building. But something caught his eye. A silver pigeon flew above, landing on the transom of Edison's building. The most beautiful pigeon he had ever seen. Such a sight melted his nerves. The pigeon seemed to say to him, you got this. You don't need those OCD ten tendencies. You're confident. Shake his hand. Don't worry about cleanliness. <laughs> was about to happen, and Tesla could feel it tingling below. Thomas Edison and his hero looked different than Tesla imagined. Smaller, fatter, frumpier. He was immediately fraught with a clash of disgust and desire. <laughs> Tesla's heart thumped hard with the kind of fervent torque produced by an induction motor. <laughs> he shook Edison's hand, Hello, Mr. Edison. I'm looking for work. I have a letter of recommendation from a mutual friend. Edison looked Tesla up and down, pausing on parts of him that hooked his eyes like a rotating magnetic field. <laughs> from Tesla's steel blue eyes, to his thick man stash, to his thick man bulge. <laughs> under his perfectly tailored trousers. <laughs> he unfolded the letter and read, My dear Edison, I know two great men and you are one of them. The other is this young man. Edison felt desire and a deep need for competition, ultimate victory, dominance, and control. He wanted to be the only great man. <laughs> I have brought my plans and sampled the alternating current I have been working on, Tesla said as he opened his release. Well, I doubt that system would work, but it definitely is an interesting fantasy. <laughs> I greatly value and respect your, your work, Mr. Edison, but you can't possibly think that direct current is efficient and sustainable. Edison had never been spoken down to, never been questioned, never been so disrespected, never been met at the same level of intelligence, never seen such eyes. Brighter than the lamps in his own office, lit by his own DC current. <laughs> Never seen such a full mustache, a strong jaw, fit in muscled chest. The rage surged through his legs and into his electricity pull, swelling with high voltage. <laughs> that Edison was wrong, but he still had such immense respect for this man, an immense appreciation for his work, his succulent lips, <laughs> plump hands. I want to level your load. <laughs> Tesla didn't know what came over him, but before he knew it, his arms were around Edison, lips drawing close, a magnetic force had overcome them both. A ferocious, wet tongue war of currents <laughs> Tesla took a breath, kissed Edison's neck, and whispered in his ear, Alternating current. <laughs> Edison squeezed Tesla's hard cock and said, Direct current. <laughs> Model. The currents traveled close to his supple 
skin, raising his arm hairs on end, reaching his fingers, pinching Edison's nipples. <laughs> Erect and electrifying, the shock made Edison gasp and groan. Alternating current. <laughs> Tesla said before he sucked on Edison's nipple. He moved down, his tongue aching for Edison's load. He undid Edison's pants. Direct current. Edison's turbine stick standing straight and bulging. Tesla's dark mustache tickled Edison's gray cubic region. As his thick cock was thrust down Tesla's tight throat. Loved that 
pigeon as a man loves a woman. And she loved him. As long as Tesla had her, there was purpose in his life. The bird fell to the floor, light extinguished. At that moment he knew there was an Edison light bulb in him, inside him all along, and that light turned off. He knew his life's work was finished. One mournful single semen tear dropped. <laughs>